It is time now to know what's on the front pages of Nigerian newspapers. Uh, joining me is journalist Ifi Oyegbile. She joins me via Skype. And uh, Dario Udufoko, who is here uh, in the studio. Thank you. Uh, thank you for joining us. Good morning. morning. Ifi, morning. good morning. Thank you for joining me. All right, let's head straight to the papers now. And I begin with the business day. Saudi uh, Malaysia all savings uh, relief citizens in lesson for Nigeria. Saudi Malaysia oil savings relieve citizens in lesson for Nigeria. You find details of that story on the pages of the business day. To the Guardian newspaper now, NDA attack, army sets up inquiry, presidency assures of security. NDA attack, army sets up uh, inquiry, presidency assures of security. To the Vanguard newspaper, retired military officers reel against attack on NDA. And the attack a disgrace to Nigerian army sends Uilola. Uh, it's a charade, shame, body George. Uh, and we find, I fear Afghanistan, Rwandan situation in Nigeria. Brigadier General Ipome uh, reacting there. Find details on the Vanguard newspaper. To the Daily Sun now. Heads to roll over NDA bandits attack. CDS sets up pro panel. Attack won't dampen armed forces resolve to end criminality, says Buhari. Attack won't uh, dampen armed forces resolve to end criminality, says Buhari. Find details on the pages of the Daily Sun. To the Daily Times now, Governor Tom Unfit for Public Office Presidency condemns Benway Governor's divisive utterances. Uh, Governor Tom Unfit for Public Office Presidency condemns Benway Governor's divisive utterances. To the first news newspaper now, uh, as a rock officials, governor, senators behind Boko Haram, says ex-military intelligence director. As a rock officials, governors, senators behind Boko Haram, says ex-military intelligence director. To the Delhi Independent, residents flee Joss City after gunmen killed more than 63 people, burnt houses, monastic victims' bodies to Assembly Security Council, Plateau. Government reimposes 24-hour curfew in Joss North. To the blueprint, 36 killed in reprisal. Gunmen cut bridge to deny victims help. You find details on the pages of the blueprint newspaper. To the Nigerian Tribune now, 36 killed in Joss. Angry youth dump corpses at government house. Government reimposes 24-hour curfew on Joss North, local government area. All right. And you f on the pages of the Nation newspaper, gunmen, headers, kill 43 in Plateau, Bainway State's attacks. Family of 16 burnt to death in community. Woman, four kids slain. Really sad development there, but you find details on the pages of the Nation newspaper. To the Daily Trust newspaper now, just killings. Youth to dump over 20 corpses at Plateau Government House. Anagota leaders accuse herders of killing 37 members. We are not responsible. Fulani group responds. All right, we move to the Nigerian news uh, direct now. Again, bandits kill 43 in Plateau, Bainway, as presidency con condemns Otom's divisive uh, utterances. To the Punch newspaper, incessant killings, Plateau, Bainway, gunmen kill 44, youth deposit corpses at government house, it's dead bodies if you can't protect us, protesting Plateau youth tell uh, government officials, protesters destroy governor's uh, billboard, Lalong reimposes 24-hour curfew. All right, uh, before we go to... Um, one of the major stories on the papers this morning. I'd quickly like for us to to touch on uh, this issue on uh, the resident doctors' strike. Uh, yesterday, they said uh, they were going to review, talking about the resident doctors now, review um, the injunction gotten from the court. Uh, but then divergent uh, interpretation came out. But human rights lawyer Femi Falano says that uh, the court didn't stop doctors' strike. And so federal government should look at addressing uh, the demands of the resident doctors. And uh, we see that uh, the doctors, in their own wisdom as well, are uh, receiving you know, some statement from uh, 
Their lawyers say they have chosen to ignore court order and continue their strike. Now, Ify, is this the way to go for the doctors? Is this the way to go to drive home their point? Even the government is saying return to work. Um, I, I don't think um, you expect people to return to work when you have not given them exactly what it is that they are asking for. Uh, the simple thing for me to say is that, that these people have been pushed so hard to the wall. Someone was saying that no matter how loyal your dog is, when that dog hits the brick wall, it definitely bounces back uh, on you or at you. It has to turn on you as it is. So I'm thinking that the, the government needs to stop playing games with the doctors. You can't just say to them, you've got to get back to work, or you give them an ultimatum, or you say to them that you're going to sack them, or you're going to relieve them of their jobs and get some other person to take their positions. It's important for you to know the right thing to do, and you need to do it. And I'm just saying to the doctors, for those who are watching, they don't need to back down. That's the truth. Because you back down now, it continues like that. The, doc the government wouldn't do exactly what it is they're expected to do. The idea is for them to stop playing games. We have too much problems already in Nigeria. Now, people are ill. Some people are dying. Some cannot get the kind of care that they deserve because doctors are on strike. So I'm just saying, government needs to do the right thing. It's about being responsible and, and staying up with the responsibilities that have been thrust on their shoulders. All right, let's bring the conversation to the studio, Tari. Um, there are those who are saying that, uh, as it is, looking at the economic situation, government may not be able to meet the demands of uh, doctors. I, I wonder if you share the same view. Yes, I do. Mm. I do. I so where does this leave the doctors? Well, I share in that opinion that uh, at this point in time, government will have a very good uh, excuse not to be able to respond adequately to the demands of uh, the striking doctors. But uh, for once, I want to side with the striking doctors totally. You know, I've always been very skeptical in supporting uh, strike uh, actions because it is the people who suffers. It's not because I think they are not entitled to whatever they are asking for. But in the long run, the people suffer. Mm -hmm. And then, I in the history of strikes, there is never provision to take care of the people who suffered when these issues are resolved. So that is why I'm always like, look, strike to me are usually not uh, welcome. But in this case, why am I saying I support them totally? Government appears to have played very funny games. Do you know that before that judgment came, mm. these doctors themselves came out and say, to say, our senior colleagues have spoken with us. Mm. And we are ready to review our stand on this strike and give government the opportunity uh, of let's come together and resolve this issue. The minister said, soon, he will no longer negotiate with striking doctors. And why people were like, oh, this may come to an end soon, that judgment came. Do you discuss with people on one hand and go to court on the, the other hand? hand? Is that a way to resolve labor issues? Is that not trying to eat your cake and have it at the same time? So now that government thinks they have a judgment, there is no need for negotiation again. Just go back to work. Well, this is not a civil uh, or criminal case. It's a labor matter. And the labor matters are usually very different. Mm. So I know that the striking doctors too know their honors. And they have uh, legal uh, minds helping them in this struggle. Absolutely. I believe that this should be done once and for all. Since there is the issue of court being involved now, the pro proper interpretation should be done to that judgment. Which Femi Falano said, he's saying that the court did not stop this. I am not a lawyer. But there are so many lawyers out there. Let's, let's test our books on this. Can a court simply tell, I mean, tell striking workers to forget your demands? Forget the needs you have. Forget the sorry state of the hospitals. Don't be bothered about the, the, the pay 
that is not sufficient that you get. Ignore the fact that Nigerian doctors are not clean up as Saudi Arabian uh, embassy to get to seek jobs as doctors abroad. Mm. Ignore all those things. Go back to work. If it is possible for a judge to make such a uh, declaration, then let's text the books to the very well, end. What, what the, 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 the court says was they should end all hostilities uh -huh. as it is. And we are hoping that uh, the government... And government is thinking that be, being on strike is an hostility. Mm. So you have to end it. Whereas the uh, striking doctors are saying that was already in process before you dragged you, them to you court. went to court. Mm. So it is not part of the hostility. The hostility may be the, 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 the face of the media war. Or the, that is their own interpretation. That, okay, we will end all that, but we are on strike. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Let's have a proper interpretation to, 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 to this uh, directive as it were. If we quickly, before we move over to other matters, uh, do you think that government can really address uh, the demands of uh, these striking doctors uh, looking at the economic situation? Because a lot of people are saying that uh, perhaps we need to start looking at uh, finding other means of funding health care. Mm. Well, l let me even just touch on what it is that you and Larry just talked about, uh, asking the doctor or asking them to end all hostilities. When you look at it, who's being hostile to who? We need to stop throwing words around. But to your question, uh, whether government can actually fund uh, what it is when we talk about the striking doctors and you saying that we need to start looking for other means to fund health care. And I'm asking you, what other means are we going to look at? Why are some persons who call themselves government officials earning the kind of whopping amount of money that they go home with at the end of every month? What are we talking about, the perks of office that these people enjoy? They just sit down in the office. Things are not going well in the country. They're earning so much money. But the people who do the work are just there, just doing the work and not seeing what it is that they're working for. I'm thinking that they should look at the bogus salaries that they're earning. <clears throat> Excuse me. We need to cut down on, you know, spending when we talk about governance in Nigeria. We need to look at it thoroughly. People go there, they collect security votes. What are they doing with these monies? Look at what is going on in just Plateau State. And we say we have a government in office. When you talk, people say that you hate the government. You hate the person who's in office. It is practically impossible for you to say you want to uh, uh, sit down and shut your eyes and ears to what it is that's going on. I don't think we should be looking for where we need to get money to fund health care in Nigeria. Nigeria has all that it takes, all right. that it requires mm. to have the best hospital that anyone can think of and pay the doctors correctly. So let's look away from this idea of thinking about where to get money to fund what it is the doctors are asking for. Because the money is there. Government just needs to be responsible in the way that it spends uh, 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 the, the money in this country. All right, quickly, before we wrap up uh, this, uh, the newspaper review, I wanted us to just touch on uh, the development in Joss, uh, where we see a number of persons have been attacked. And if you look at the front page of the Nation newspaper, uh, a family of 16 burnt to death in community, a woman, four kids slain. I mean, how disturbing is this development for you? Let me quickly begin with you, Ify, uh, before I come over to it's the studio. Very disturbing, because my, my ears were twitching when you were reading that. A family of 16, then you talked about some other persons <clears throat> who were killed and how the, 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 the citizens there were going on rampage. I saw a video where bodies were being carried in a truck. What are we talking about? How did we get here? I, I think that question should be a national question, which is what we should be asking Asking now. I served in just Plateau State. It was such a quiet, beautiful place that anyone would want to be. But today, it's become a killing field. And we're sitting down, saying that we're in the Southwest, it wouldn't get here. But you forget that whatever happens in one part of the country, it's just a matter of time before it ignites like a fire and you find the whole place burning. Government needs to wake up again. I keep talking about government because if something needs to be done, it has to be done urgently and it should start from where government actually sits. All right, Dari, your perception of this development? Sad. Hmm. Sad, but uh, it's not new. 
the worrisome part of it, the most worrisome, is the fact that one is not getting that kind of response from those in authority that will, you know, allay your fears. They have imposed a coffee. The poor coffee was there when this latest one happened. You know how that that coffee was in place when, when this happened. latest killings happened. It's not enough. Go after the perpetrators. Get uh, uh, people you use as examples of what will happen to those who kill. Right. Until we do that, we are talking with a keg of gunpowder. All right. And for those of us in the southwest, in the southeast, okay, of course the southeast is having its own fair share of all this madness. But the southwest and other parts of the country must not sleep. All right. And the federal government should know that the uh, most important uh, responsibility of government to the people security. is security. All right. We'll leave the conversation here now. Journalists Ifeon Yegbile and Dari Udufonwakma, thank you so much for your time on the newspaper okay. review.